guys, welcome to the HKC217 podcast. Uh, this is episode 7, sponsored by RW Paintworks. They've helped us out this year with sponsorship and stuff like that. Uh, and they're going to be doing my helmet for this year. going to be really cool, uh, knowing on the uh, helmets that they do. Uh, so cool to see that. If you want to check out some sponsorship, it will be in the link in description. Uh, link in the description uh, got a couple more spots on the helmet uh, and this episode is going to be about uh, going to be about my win series and we're going to be going over a recap on that so I'll see you on the other side bye hey guys uh, we're back doing a win series roundup you could call it uh, or like review, whatever you want to call it, uh, and we're gonna be going over all the rounds and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna go over like my places and stuff that I did, like the rounds and my qualifications and stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, yes, yeah, the winter series uh, roundup, which was um, three rounds. Yeah. Um. Which composed of three sisters, uh, the normal track that nearly everyone knows. Then we did a different, like funky layout. Uh, we didn't go over the top of the hill. We turned on. We carried on at the end of the start finish straight, and then we did. So that was the second round, and then we went to Ella for the last round. Final round at Ella Park, yeah. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. A little winter series, cold weather, cold and hot. Well, it's a bit n- nicer yeah. weather. Uh, Ella, yeah, we're quite hot, but so yeah, we'll go into a little recap. Uh, we just wanted to go through what we've done or what you've done yeah. over the first three rounds. So, as we get into going to round one, mm. which was seems like it was ages away yeah. now, we were back in December, I think the, it was. Yeah, the winter series has been like split up like quite a Part, it? Yeah, so the first round was at Three Sisters. Mm. I, I forgot the date now. In December, yeah. it was freezing. Absolutely freezing. Chucking it down. Horrible weather. Wet, cold. Uh, Just generally really cold, to be honest. Weren't very nice. Quite a few a few people went home because it was that cold. It was Baltic. So, yeah, really cold. Uh and like in race two well there were two races well, yeah, two races but uh yeah two races and in both races i finished third behind valentino so luca luca wilkinson won yeah um valentino came in second in, yeah second and i came third twice in both races yeah it were horrible conditions uh a lot of a few people went home. I don't say mm. a lot of people went home. A few people went home. It was horrible. It was. It was grim. If someone would have said, let's go home, I would have said, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we got rid of that. We got through Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Very nice Christmas. Uh, and then we rocked back up in January, which was a little bit better weather. Mm. Uh, back to Three Sisters again on a different layout. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that layout as well. Um yeah, it didn't go over the. Yeah, it didn't, over go, the it hill. didn't go over the back like hill. It was a good straight. layout though. Yeah, I, I quite liked it. Weather was a little bit more technical, I'd say. Yeah, Especially. weather was a little bit better. Mm. Um, as well, slightly. It was definitely not as bad as when we went there before. Uh, looking at the results there, uh, you come um, second. second in race one. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, Luca won for Luca won the race. Hudson come second. Valentino come third. Mm-hmm. And then in race two, two, uh, I will come in round the outside of book champion, and me and Valentino collided. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, Valentino come off. Val- Valentino came off. So yeah, they were both coming up to a bit of a uh, coming round a quite a fast part of the track. We were a fast part of the track, a bit of a back marker. Mm. Uh, Valentino, it looked a pretty nasty one to be fair. But yeah, Valentino all right when you seen him after. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's any, anybody's fault, but well, at least, at least no one's hurt. Nobody, nobody got hurt anyway. Seriously. But yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was uh, just uh, maybe it was a quick part of the course as well. Yeah, it, our, it, our it, it was one of the uh, new parts of the course. So yeah, so that wrapped up race round two, mm. race two round two. Uh, at Three Sisters. Then we had a bit of a gap then, I think it was. Yeah, it was quite a long gap. I've, I've lost track of dates know. now, to be fair. It was that long ago. So, yeah, round three, we headed off to Ella Park, where, thank you to Sarah Tue. We uh, stopped in a hotel. Well, like, everybody stopped in a hotel. There were loads of yeah, they people were. there. It was fantastic. Mm. Um, we went there on Saturday. Uh, we booked in for the afternoon session. Mm. Uh, weather was... Night. Well, it was yeah, sunny. It, it was so. It was very, windy. Very windy. Very, very but windy. It was, su- it was sunny. It was just windy and a bit fresh, cold yeah. wise. But track was dry. Mm. Uh, you went out there, did a few sessions. I think you you went on. Mm. In fact, you stayed there until lights come on. Yeah. And then we had a meal booked, so everybody went back to the hotel. It was a really good weekend that one. Yeah, it was. So yeah, we all went back to the hotel. We all had a meal again. Thanks to Sarah. Mm. Do we like me, Steve, Dave? Uh, Tyler Humphreys, uh, Alan and Sarah Humphreys. Yeah. Oh, who else were there? Uh, Simon and Adele. Yeah. There were loads. Yeah. We took a full room section of the pub over. Over, yeah. They were like a full room. We all had to sit on separate tables. They were really good. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, so we enjoyed that. So then we went back there on the Sunday for a bit of racing. Yeah. Uh, practice in the morning. Second practice. Uh, you had a bit of an incident. Yeah. Um. Bit of a bad. Well, not a bad one. Not too well, bad. A bad one for the bike. Yeah. Bike took a bit of a whack, broke the master cylinder on the brakes, on the brake uh, lever. Uh, it broke the throttle. Throttle so housing broke. Housing pegs, up. gear selector. Normal things that break. Smashed up bike, pretty good, not too bad. Anyway, we had a bit of a mad rush. We were trying to get it done for qualifying, which was the next session. Mm. Uh, after that, Hudson were fine, by the way. Uh, took a bit of a whack. I uh, hurt my knee, but um, it, it was okay. I could have, I, I rode on it, but it just got knocked, and it were a bit of a shock when I came off. Yeah. To be honest, I got tumbled. It looked, a, it looked a bad one. It looked bad. Crashed well, apparently. That's what somebody said. <laughs> you crashed well. <laughs> you <laughs> rolled and took quite well. So yeah, we we did that. Uh, massive thanks to uh, Steve Wilkinson, mm-hmm. uh, El Loco, uh, Luca Wilkinson's dad, who helped us. Nick Weston as well. Massive yeah. shout out to him and Zach as well. Who uh, yeah. Zach helped us with like the brakes and housing and stuff, and stuff like that. Yeah, they took all the throttle housing. Him and um. And then Luca took the throttle housing off of the spare one nine ten. That was the only thing that we were missing—a throttle, yeah. I think. I think. Yeah, we had to we had to take the. Do you know the like you know how you got your throttle housing and then you got you think the uh, the wheel that the cable goes over and you grab the throttle thing. Well, the uh, cover that went over that it got ripped off. So me and Luca's one ninety, we kept we had to switch it between each session. Oh no! Oh yeah, I can remember now. Yeah, yeah. it was a cap. It was a cap. Yeah, like the cap on the. It was red a cap. Thing. Well, we didn't need to swap actually every session because we found a spare yeah, one. Yeah, we, we found a spare one and we salvaged. So it. yeah, anyway, so luckily, thank you, massive thanks to Simon and Adele for being there as well because. Yeah. Um, what did we get from them? They had the li- what? What we, were we, we missing? Got... Steve Wilkinson got us the caliper set up. Yeah. Uh, I think Simon had the Simon did have the. Uh, yeah, the throttle. It, yeah, he had the throttle. He just didn't have thing. a cap. Yeah. Gear selector. Luckily, we got some parts for some bits and bobs that mm. are generally the same old parts at bus. So, yeah, we sorted that out. Mm. Job done. Got it fixed up. Uh, went out there in qualifying and actually yeah. went out there and did a faster time on your next session, yeah. which I'll say from me, uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if he'd have gone out a little bit slower or a bit of a bump that he had. Um but no, he went out and did a faster lap. Mm. Uh, Which is good. Life timing went down a bit of a weird one, this one. Um, 
they were having problems. We knew the life. Well, we knew the timing from the Alfano. Yeah. But life timing went down. They weren't going to count the race. They weren't going to count the race. Bit of confusion was going on. Random grids. Luckily, it, it didn't it, even affect our. It didn't yeah, affect your it championship. Didn't it. Uh, no matter what happened, uh, it didn't affect the championship on that one. It could have. It could have, but yeah. it didn't in the end, which we'll say about. I've actually bracketed out the scores, what it would have been and what mm. it was, and it didn't actually make a difference. But yeah, so we got through that. There's random grids. Uh, yeah. So in race one. They were a bit hectic, but they they assorted the grids on lap times, we think. Yeah, we kind of sorted on lap times. Mm. As well, uh, on the winter series, uh, we, didn't, we haven't really touched on this. Uh, in the winter series, it's like mixed classes. So there's the uh, Ovali 110. Uh, the Mini GP 140, well, the Metric kit. The Metric kits was with us in practice, I think. I the, don't know about in the. Did it, were they with us in yeah, practice? Yeah, because um, I think Josh. Josh, you were on his black, uh, his black Metric kit. Mm, yeah, he might, yeah, Is it a fifty? Might be. I don't know. Who's got fifty? Anyway, yeah. So yeah, it doesn't don't, don't really matter. There was a few people racing on one tens, a few people on one forties. I think there were, there were a few match kits as well because yeah, a few yeah. fab racers turned up as well, didn't there? There were quite a lot of fab racers at Ella. Yeah, so anyway, it were a good, a good round. Um, really so, good. yeah, so race one. Uh, I'm trying to... Just, I think you got behind Luca on this one. Yeah. Luca got in front of you. You tagged yeah, on Luca got, as much a, as you can. I got a really good start. I got in front of Luca. Luca took me on the first corner up on the inside, I think it was. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, and then you. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Race. So yeah, you had a good start. You mm. got in front of Luca. Luca took you on first corner. Yeah. You stayed behind Luca. You were tagging along with Luca, and I think in race one you had a. That's where you had your false neutral, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Is. It were. Re, yeah. Race one. So, coming onto the start finish straight, which is a really really fast bit, coming round the corner. Okay. Coming round the corner. Uh, I ch- I were gonna change up into. I think it was fourth. Or third, I, yeah, I think it was third. And I, I came, I was coming out the straight, and I flicked up into third, and uh, it went into neutral. And I had to stomp back down, get my all my gear sorted again, and I went off. You and, pulled to the side. If you, well, if you remember, yeah, you, like, pulled I, to the I pulled, side. I pulled to the side, but I was still like rolling decently fast. Valentino uh, bomb Valentino past pom- bomb past me. Uh, Harvey. Harvey came past me. So you lost like two places in the one ten. And then I had a battle with Harvey to get back into third. I think it were because I was in fourth when I got into my fullest neutral. Uh, and I was chasing Harvey. I overtook Harvey. I, don't, I forgot where it were, but yeah, I overtook Harvey. You and just then... caught him. If I can remember rightly, like you, you kind of stopped. You stopped at the side. Yeah. Valentino went past. Harvey went past. I think you got going within about ten seconds, mm. um, and then like you had to, you were chasing them down. Yeah, I think it was the lap before the last lap, maybe that you just caught Harvey up. Uh, you stayed behind Harvey for a little bit, and then, and then you just nipped in front of him. Maybe it might have been the final lap or the lap before the final lap, yeah. and you nipped into third. Uh, and Valentino was only just another five seconds in front as well. So yeah, yeah. that was really good. That because it was, in my opinion. Uh, a good chase. A good chase that actually made it an interesting race to watch because yeah. I was like, oh, is he going to catch him here? Is he going to catch him here? Because you were doing really well on that track. It's a yeah. track that you like. I do like that track. Even though <laughs> we joked that it's, <laughs> it's it's always something at that track, something happens, or mm. you had a bit of a bogey round on that one, uh, if you can remember last year. Uh, no, what happened last year? Uh, on the start line. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Valentino on the, on the stalled on like start. Valentino stalled. I so swerved and you got hit on parade. Yeah. Lap. Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, good, Hectic. good first right race. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good first race for. So you come third. After getting into. And fifth. I, I, I was. No, I got into fourth, not fifth. I don't think. Yeah, you might put. Uh, I, I only took. I only. Oh, you'll have to take one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. so you finished third. Yeah, finished third. Third. So yeah, uh, again, Luca just pretty much bombed off in front. Mm. Uh, you were a little bit more in touch with Luca this round, yeah. Which we'll touch on on the race three mm. again. Uh, for me, you could see like a big difference from round one in the winter series. 
Luca, obviously on the same bike. Mm. Uh, then round two with the winter series, then round three, like the progression over the winter series and what we've been doing. It was really impressive that we've been doing. So yeah, we got yeah. move on to race three. Uh, Hudson got a flying start. Yeah. Really Bomb good. straight. I think you were like, I think he got into second or third overall. Yeah. So like Tyler were in front. I don't know who were in second. I think you were third. Luca were fourth. Overall, this was with the one forties. Um, I think you stayed in front of Luca for like a lap. Yeah. You managed to hold him off for as long as you could. Uh, Luca nipped back in front of you. Mm. You tagged on with him as long as you could. Stayed with him. Um, good race. Stay. I think you actually finished. So you finished anyway. You stayed in second. Yeah. In class with Luca. Mm. You finished eleven seconds behind Luca at the end. Uh, and I Which think compared to the to the uh, three sisters, the first round of the winter series, how many seconds behind? Forty some seconds. Yeah, you might be in forty seconds behind him. So like, there's, there's definitely lap. a clear progression. Uh, what we could tell. So we're really happy with that. Uh, and as well as that, I'm sure you like finished like fourth overall. Yeah. So, like you come second Which in class and fourth overall. Say, with I some one forty bikes there. Yeah. So yeah, good finish to the series yeah um enjoyed it apart from that first round a bit mm. cold so um the final standings of the championship uh, i'll read through this because i've put in so luca Win wilkinson mm. was a winter series 110 champion he got 150 points from six wins so perfect from luca six mm. races six wins like i say i'll go into it and the uh, I don't think they counted the final round towards the championship, but it didn't affect our championship at all. They, they said, and then they changed it, and yeah, then, they, and they, had then had they had like a voting thing if we wanted to do random gl grids or a practice day. Yeah, and everyone voted for the random grids. Yeah, well, they were so testing. It, it, the... were, it were like hectic, to be honest, because they said the live timings weren't working. Then we. All got called over and we voted if we if it wanted to be a practice day or a, a race a, a race with random grids because they didn't have lap times or if they wanted us a practice day. if they wanted someone to time it manually on <laughs> they, they did yeah they did they did they said it well anyway they said it at the end of the straight well they were testing the new live timing system out which is a my lapse system yeah via the app which. Like I say, it did actually get back working. Yeah. And actually, I was really impressed with it because it sorted it out. You could, when you looked at the live timing, when it was working, yeah. you could see, um, you could look at the overall standings. You could click into the per class. You could click into, you could click on the person and see every lap they've done. Yeah, really good. Session. Really detailed statistics. See the lap times and stuff like, like that. I like that bit. It, obviously, it mattered on that one where it was a mixed class race where did, you could did, see didn't they have the live ta the new live timings up at the uh right the second round or the first yeah round? they tested it a little bit at three uh, sisters it worked really good mum were looking mum were looking at yeah it. i i think it's good uh, like, obviously a few little problems with it but it doesn't matter testing it um but, so yeah it didn't really affect the championship so going back to the to the championship luca wilkinson six wins mm. uh if you don't cast it for Count the final round, yeah. it would have been four wins. So he actually got 150 points. If you don't cast the final round, 100. it was 100 points. Like I say, so it didn't really affect our our championship at all. You got 109 points, sorry, 108 Eight points, points. Uh, which was a third, a third, a second, a th sorry, a third, a third, a second, a second, a third, a second. Uh, if they didn't, which they didn't, they don't class the final round, so you would have been on 72 points. Mm. Uh, and Valentino uh, Kimmy Kirk, he was on 92 points. Uh, and it would have been, if you don't, if we're not counting the final round, it would have been on 56 points. So it didn't, it might be a bit confusing that, but I can assure you that it didn't affect the round. Luca would have still come first, Hudson would have still come second, and Valentino would have still come third. And Valentino got a second, a second, a third, uh, a DNF, did not finish, uh, and a second and a third. 
So good competition that. Mm. First time you've really obviously. Ri- well, not first time you've raced on a one ten at all. Yeah, but <laughs> first proper season. Little series, mini yeah. series, winter yeah, series. Yeah, winter, winter series. Good but, test. Yeah. Good fun. Mm. Uh, so yeah, really impressed with that. Mm. Good little bit of testing. Would have liked a few more rounds, a few more places. I thought it would have been a, a little mm. bit better. I'm sure I, I, the winter I thought, series. I thought they would have done four rounds. Well, but it, it is what again. It is. This obviously we've got a little bit of coronavirus passing over type problems, so mm. maybe it was a short one, one in case of that. But yeah, really happy with that. So that pretty much concludes yeah. the winter series. So happy with that. Second in the championship. Well, second place overall. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Waiting for his trophy. Face, well, backlog of trophies <laughs> um, from the championship. So, yeah, really good. A uh, few other things that we want to touch on is that uh, obviously this were over winter series that uh, we've been doing a little bit of training. Yeah. Uh, you might have seen it on, a so- on your socials. Yeah. Uh, blasting about on Osset Bike, been to Mini Motors, mm. been to yeah. Flat Track. Mm. Uh, been having good fun. Yeah. Um. Well, while the weather actually went out this weekend, it's been fantastic. Yeah, this it's weekend. been probably the best weekend. Pre- we've yeah, had. probably like one of the warmest weekends we've had. Which has knocked me off a few times this weekend. So has he. Uh. So yeah, we've had fun doing that. Uh. What have you enjoyed most? Flat trekking, mini motors, mm. blasting on Osset. Probably either flat trekking or Ossets. Oh, you went to the Danny Webb camp thing? Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was really good, that. Um, but, yeah. Really good. Right, anything else to touch on? So that's that. Yeah. Um, MotoGP starts this Saturday. Yeah. This um, weekend. Yeah. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Looking MotoGP forward to... Uh, new TV series. That starts this week. Oh, that starts in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, MotoGP Unlimited, which is like the Amazon... Uh, sorry, like the Netflix documentary mm. where they followed the full of MotoGP all last year that starts Did, didn't they do it with F1 yeah that, there's yeah. a new series of the F1 thing coming yeah. as well that's like literally in a week mm. that. Yeah. so that's some good stuff to watch on telly uh, been watching Vision Track yeah uh, looking at the Moto3 team looking at Moto3 team watching Taylor McKenzie's videos uh, yeah. looking at Josh Watlet and uh, Scott Ogden um, doing the practice sessions doing the practice stuff. sessions uh, that's been really interesting uh, to watch, mm. exciting looking at livery that they've got looking at the new livers and stuff like we've that we've just seen yesterday I think it was yesterday or the day before Is the uh, no the um, the British Talent Cup um, lorry oh yeah that yeah. looks pretty amazing um, that yeah, I've seen a picture of that one with mm. the lorry with all the paintwork on it. That's good. Really looking forward to the um, British Talent Cup. Mm. We'll we're going be going to be watching that. We're going well. to be watching that and watching going to wherever going we can. To see, yeah. Uh, looking forward to British Superbikes as well. Yeah. So we'll be going to a few rounds of that. Uh, that'll be really, really exciting. Mm. Um. So yeah, going all the way back to MotoGP. So mm. last year. Um, they did. A, I think BR8. I don't know if it was BR8. I think, yeah, I think it was BR8 that did it. Yeah, I remember entering it. We entered it, didn't we? Yeah, we had a t- we had a team meet. So anyway, so uh, they did a fantasy uh, MotoGP dot com fantasy league. I've yeah. done it for a few years before. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it. It's like basically. Well, I've seen it last year, but like it's basically you can vote on teams. Well, you and, pick your team. Yeah, you pick your pick team. Pick your riders. And then, uh, yeah. so yeah, I'll flash up a graphic now. You can join it. So we basically made one for Hudson's. Well, we've made one that you can join. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be giving away some prizes. We don't know what prizes yet. We don't know. We don't know how many people are going to join, but we are going to give away some prizes. We don't yeah. know what prizes we're going to give away. We're definitely well, going to give yeah. something away for first place. We might do a first place adult, first place mm-hmm. kids. Yeah. Uh, all this something small. I don't know. It might be some merchandise that has got or some gear that we can give away yeah. anyway it's for fun and it's for free to join 
check the graphic on the screen now if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, the code to join it is C C L A P C U P. Or if you just go to Join League on the MotoGP Fantasy website, just search for HKC217. You'll see his league. Just join it. It's free to join. So there's people. This is an amazing thing that we've put it on out on Twitter uh, and Instagram and Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Put, um, and there's people from Indonesia, Estonia, South, South Africa, Africa, USA, Turkey, UK. and obviously England that have joined, which is absolutely mind blowing, really. Yeah. To yeah. say that some people <laughs> so if that I have to send a, if I have to send a prize out to um, Indonesia, um, <laughs> it better oh. be a little snicker. Uh, no, but yeah. So and also as well as that, we're going to be doing updates mm. probably every every round, and we'll we'll do an update on who's winning in the league as well. Yeah. Um, every. Podcast every round. Well, every, every uh, yeah. no, every race, every race round that you we do, yeah, we'll do a little. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do, do a yeah. fantasy league update as well. So yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty be cool. Another thing that we're going to be doing is that uh, probably every single round mm. of the British Mini Bike Championship, we're going to do a podcast and a video like this as well that you'll be able to see on YouTube, uh, which will basically be the race report. Uh, we kind of tested that format last year. Got good feedback, lots of downloads, lots of views on YouTube. So we're going to do exactly what we're doing now, which is a video. If yeah. you're watching on YouTube, you can see us now. If you're listening on iTunes, uh, Spotify, uh, it's basically on every podcast app. Uh, you can just listen to the audio version. In the video version on YouTube, there will be a little bit of race footage. Um from videos that we've taken over the weekend, some photos, obviously. Um, but mainly, it's it's an audio one. But yeah. head over to YouTube, search for HKC217. Yeah. You'll find his channel. Mm. Uh, getting a load of subscribers on oh, there. And as well, do you know that code for the uh, Fantasy MotoGP yeah. League? You could just search up uh, for HKC217 yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, and it might, probably should come up. Yeah, I did yeah. tell that. Did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Hold it up. A little mini podcast. What's that? Twenty six minutes. Happy with that. Um, don't forget to head over to the socials. Yeah. If you just search for HKC two one seven. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Facebook Twitter. Twitter. Getting really good traction on Twitter at the moment. Don't know why. Um. Loads of followers on Twitter, getting a lot of feedback from Twitter, which is brilliant. Yeah, I think these are where a lot of these people have joined from all the way around the world. Like it's absolutely crazy, um, like followers from all the way around. Mm. Fantastic. We, we had the other day a message, and it were what what were we in? We were in like oh, there's a guy from Japan who yeah, follows Japan. us, and I had to tra- um, he so had he to, tweeted he had to, it, and I had to translate it. Because it were in like uh, Japanese, like writing. And then I, I replied and I translated it into Japanese and tweeted it in back, saying thank you for your support mm. and sent it in back into Japanese. Anyway, blew my mind. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. So this guy, I think he races, I forgot what he does now, he races bikes in Japan. Mm. Mental. Absolutely insane. So yeah, absolutely nuts. So please like and subscribe, give us a review. Yeah. on iTunes or wherever you listen to this Spotify you can ask Amazon a word to play the HKC217 podcast yeah. and it should play the latest episode if you've got a an a word Amazon device in your house I don't want to say the word um, obviously we're on Spotify Google Play Deezer Mixcloud send me a message if it's not on where you want it because <laughs> I'll put it on there um, but yeah Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. We'll see you at the next podcast. Like got some exciting, yeah, I've got some exciting things coming up soon. Uh, what yeah. we're going to be doing with the podcast is going to be videos, uh, probably like some interviews as we're going through the season. Yeah. Uh, trying to get some more people on to talk to. Um, but yeah. Committing to making sure we do a podcast every race round because mm. we do the race report. Um, that's about it. So. 
Hope you like it. Like and subscribe. For the third time. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.